last word on uh, artificial intelligence and architecture. Many architects said, well, Sebastian, if uh, our AI is going to take our jobs, it's also going to take yours. And the quick caveat there to keep in consideration is that phrase, follow the money, stupid. Right, so until we get general artificial intelligence, which is basically some sort of a singularity moment in which you pass a Turing test and this stuff is as smart as any normal person, indistinguishable from a person, we're only going to have specific artificial intelligence. And that's going to be trained on those areas that have the most money to be made. So if you think of just general fields of design, um, there's not as much reward there. There's also not as much standardized data. Now, architecture by definition, because you need to have security in construction, there's a lot more standardized regulations that pre-exist, right? So um, what's the logic? That someone's going to go after general fields of design or that someone will go after the entire architectural construction, engineering, and real estate business. Yeah, um, it makes a lot more sense to put a lot of money on the second one, right? If you're going to be disrupting anything to make a huge difference, it is to make money on it. That's how tech companies work. So will that take everyone's job in architecture? Of course not. Will it take a lot of them? Of course. And uh, what should you be doing? I don't know, dude. Like, I'm just following logic here. And again, does, do you need an architect to say this? No. Did you need a chess master to be able to know that chess was going to be beaten by an AI? No. It, I, I'm just being logical here, guys. Okay? Take care.